This is why it's always good to have someone else testing. And basically, we're just like switching off each jump, so like you can see an overview of it. Or... And that works nice, Ooh. except back it up a tiny, tiny bit. Like, no, it's too far back. Too far back. Uh, right in the middle there. Now, let me test that out for you guys. Uh, just to say, don't make a quad, because <laughs> that's not really in a... I've never even made a quad. I, I made a quad before, but, yeah. It's, yeah, that's what happens. Um, that's why I'm adding this little, I don't even know what it's called. Is it a safety? Uh... But when I see when I did it, for some reason I got the jump perfectly. I'm not like that speed. Bad. See, I'm not gonna get speed on this time. Oh, on my triples, I I like to use these pieces right here because, like, yeah, I mean. Use a different piece to show them. When you use one of these, I can't really see. You can see that little piece under there, that little part under, and that just this piece just covers it up like fully. It looks nice. And you want to put that little section in the center, right directly in the middle of these two pieces. So you notice how it's a little bit closer to that. Just scoot it back a little bit. For, oh crap, 30 degrees. Sorry. <laughs> Let's scoot it right about here. And, yeah, it's good right there. Now, I think you're going to hit that. So I'm going to quickly touch that. You shouldn't hit this. There we go. Now, right there, as you can see, I got a lot of speed. And when you get a lot of speed, you might over jump it just a tiny but bit. You notice, you notice it still didn't affect your driving, though. Yeah. So, what he's doing is he's extending the landing. That's what he's doing. So. Yeah, this was a 10 degree right there. I'm just going to put a 5 degree land right there or what he can do is we can see this piece right here go five degrees oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know what i was thinking just to block out under it because yeah just make it yeah make it the same slant as the other one So you, you learn stuff every day? Or instead of using the same slants, you can use, hold on, let me delete these two pieces. Still keep that piece where it is. I'm just going to put a 4x4 four four instead, save building blocks. Mm -hmm. Or you use the tall one. Well, Not that deep. Yeah, you well, use, use the. Still in the ground. You still can't see anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you if you see this little glitching thing right here, on um, the railings, all you need to do is make a little, little, little bit, like. A little bit under that other piece. 
And right now I'm making the landing a bit smoother by adding a second piece, half well, five degrees less of an angle, and putting it halfway into that block, as you can see. Yeah. Okay, let's test out this triple. Like. See, that's the thing. Sometimes you over jump it, sometimes you go right there. So it's good to have a landing that can cover all of those basic things. Okay, it's my turn to drive it. Remember, have every, every as much people test it out as you possibly can. Sorry, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I didn't get any speed on there. Let's hope I can get speed on this triple. And that time it worked perfect for me. And since I just don't like single things, I'm going to add uh, something very small to this triple at the end of the section. Add a ramp, I'm placing two ramp circular smalls. Yeah, a random lob. Kind of. If you guys don't know what that is, just go and check out Tripline 413's map. It's just a whoop that you won't expect. Oh, it's making a rollover? Not really, you'll see. God, stupid, what happens when you grab it when it's 90 degrees? It yeah, it's over. just that. Uh, And I'm going to add two building blocks here. Or one. <laughs> Actually, no. I like two. I like two. Probably could add walls. I think walls are just ugly. And super cross. Sometimes they look good. I need to lower down these circular smalls a bit. So that you just hit the top of them. So, we have four more sections to go. Oh, I'm not done with this one yet. Hold on. Well, yeah. Ooh. Now drive that for a well, second. Bye. You'll see how that works. Hopefully we can finish this map before I have to go. I'm just saying we forged this map like really quick. As you can see, like, he made it. Wow. <laughs> and the session's about to be over in a minute. So, that's weird. Yes, um, try to, like I said, try to jazz things up. Like, if you see there's enough space after a jump, add, like, a random single, or in this case, a little whoop thing, but mine's a different type of whoop. But just stuff like that. But make sure you're able to keep your speed and not crash into the berm or into the wall or anything. Just jazz up your maps. Don't make them simple. Okay. And here's one last test of it. Here I go. Here's the triple. And see, look, you're still able to get the berm. Really nice. See you later for the next session.